Mr. Stuart Housie. Yeah. With the words of the Prime Minister uh, in her condolences to those who lost their lives in Manchester and London, and also to pay tribute to the emergency services. It's right that uh, we do that, as our democratic process was affected twice in a short campaign. And can I also uh, uh, say that we will miss many of those who have lost their seats from all parts of the House. Well, we welcome all of the new members from all of the parties. Uh, there are some big beasts who have gone, and I suspect we will miss them all sooner rather than later. May I also agree with the Prime Minister on one other thing she said, that politics are not divisive. And I think that's important. Whether we take a different view on the Constitution, on Brexit, on social policy, on tax and spend, these are simply the different opinions of political opponents, not enemies. And if we can reflect a little more respect across all the parties, that would do this House and politics a great deal of good. Mr Speaker, may I congratulate you. Uh, we in the SNP have always seen you as a champion, ensuring that all of the voices across and indeed within the parties are properly heard. Indeed, I can also say, having sat and worked with you on the House of Commons Commission, you have also shown yourself to be incredibly diligent with an attention to detail in the way this building and House and Commons is run out with the Chamber. And I am sure those who join you on that Commission in this Parliament will find exactly the same thing. So, in congratulating you, and we do, may I make one final comment. The Leader of the Opposition has referred to a coalition which is as yet undefined and a programme for government which appears to be as yet uh, unwritten. And given there is no absolute majority in this House, we are in for interesting times. So with my congratulations, Mr Speaker, may I wish you all the very best of luck. <laughs> <laughs>